Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hello everyone. Well, today in this tutorial we see how to create uh, a few icon uh, in here as you can see. If you're wondering what is fifth icon, well, obviously you already know it. Uh, that's explain why you're watching this. But uh, in case that's what is five icon, it's this uh, little uh, icon in here that shows in the browser of every uh, website you visit. For example, if if we if we go to Facebook you will see a little icon appearing here uh, that's what that's what we are gonna try to to make inside Adobe Illustrator all right fantastic so let's get to it okay so just open your Adobe Illustrator and just you know uh, just make a new document so we go to file new and you can you can choose uh, uh, six, 16 by 16 and you know just uh, upload it as a PNG but most of uh, the, the websites and, and the, the coding of this uh, fave icon to work properly uh, you need like to, to convert it to, to ICO that ICO uh, that's mean icon So uh, we we'll see how to, to create that and we we'll just begin with this weight and height So we'll just uh, go with uh, 256 pixel for weight and height and the press ok And this is this is like really easy to do you know it depends how you want it of course, but I will just show you an example So uh, what I do I will just use uh, a rectangle like so Alright. Okay, something like that. And I would just make the stroke for like point two and for the uh, the fill in here uh, I, I would just uh, fill it with uh with the gradient so I uh, will go to the, the gradient in here All right, so I will go to the gradient in here and uh, I will go with this orange in here so you can just by clicking in this arrow in here you can just find uh, uh, some kind of gradient in here that is already in uh, Illustrator so just pick this orange in here and I will just try to modify it so we go to the angle in here and we just choose uh, 100 or minus 120 as you can see now I will just change the colors in here so uh, I don't want I want this orange in here so I will just delete this yellow and I will by pressing alt you can just make a copy of this color in here and I will just drag it like so and let me so we just focusing on the colors and I will just adjust this uh, yellow in here so we choose the color palette in here and uh, I will just you know if you want to to, to change it to different uh, maybe CMYK or something it's just you know for the record it's not like helpful for this tutorial but I will show you how you can just press shift and click like so it will change it like so so, so I will just stick with the, the RGB for this one. So we just uh, make it a little bit orange. All right, something like that. So I'll just try to fade it with this orange in here, and I will go to this color in here, and also I will just try to make it more orange. Okay. Or something like so. Okay, it looks cool. As you can see, 
can of course choose your own colors but I'm just showing you, showing you uh, an example now you can just type uh, a, you know a letter or if you have a logo you can just bring your logo in here I have a logo so we just go to file uh, place and there we go I have uh, my own logo in here so we just double click to it and I will just place it like so and you know if you want like to center it perfectly with the, the, the rectangle in here you can just select the rectangle and by pressing shift you can select the logo and then go to the rectangle and by pressing alt on your keyboard you can click to it and then you know and make sure the selection tool is selected and uh, you will find the, the align and uh, option in here so we just press one like this and one in here and it will uh, align it uh, in the center perfectly so we just make it a little bit bigger somewhere like this all right now i'll try like to make it a little bit shiny and this is like you don't have to make the same thing i'm just showing you uh, an example so if you want to to make it just you know feel free to do that so we just go and i will choose ellipse tool in here and i will try to make uh, an elliptical uh, in here so we just want it to be like this all right somewhere like this and in here if uh, if i go to my layers in here i can find the find the path in here so as you can see all right so now i will just uh, make a copy of this rectangle so we'll, uh, we'll still have the original and i will just select this one in here and select uh, this uh, elliptical circle in here and then i will go to the path fender in here and I will just uh, choose the, uh, the trim in here so we just click to it and it will trim it uh, in a group now I'll just, I'll just close that and we just choose uh, this one uh, in here as you can see Uh, just create uh, create it uh, in the shape of this rectangle which is into white so you can see it all right so now we will uh, we'll create a let me just delete those like so now we just make it uh, give it a a gradient also so we just choose this white to black in here and I would make the black white like so and I would uh, turn down the opacity for zero percent and uh, let me just uh, go to the gradient in here and I would just make it like that all right something like this all right now I will just uh, turn down the opacity of this color in here to like 70% so it won't be like a lot of white okay. all right and of course we can all, always go to the appearance in here and turn down the opacity a little bit like 70 percent too all right now we're done with our uh, fib icon in here so we just go to file save for a web and choose original and i will choose png in here and choose save and let me call this five icon icon two and press save now we go to my file in here i will find it uh, in here like five icon two as you can see that's what we made 
Now uh, to make it to convert it to ACU, uh, you go so go to this site in here. It's called Icon Fire, and press choose fire, and then choose the the, the PNG that you created. You know, just double click to it and choose Icon Fire, and then it will just uh, convert it. So just wait for it to for the process. Alright, now it's done processing and uh, also like there is a, an option in here as you can see you can just click that and choose whatever dimension you want to be generated uh, for your uh, icon as you can see there is a lot of uh, dimensions so you can just uncheck all uh, the, the one that you don't need uh, for the fave icon like, uh, it's uh, uh, the better dimension is 16 by 16 so you can just check that if you want to use just this one and otherwise like you can just keep everything checks uh, if you want to use them all so just so now uh, what we're gonna choose we'll choose this one in here so we just click that and then we just right click and then we choose save image as as you can see in here it will uh, convert it to that ICO as you can see let me just save it and you're done so now we have it uh, as a dot ACO with a really good quality as you can see because that's how uh, it will show and that's it you, all you need to do is uh, to upload it to your blog or site and you're done so I hope this uh, tutorial was a little bit uh, helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know, have a nice day.